Photo Club, Evola, Herf Jones, and more news coming your way. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm Izzy. For lunch today, lines one and two, taco meat with Doritos, line three, soup and salad bar, fruit and potato soup, line four, chicken fajita, line five, Big Daddy pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Austin Penry. There will be a photo club meeting today in room 150 during community. If you're looking forward to going to Evola, tickets will be sold tonight at Hawaiian Shave Ice from 5 to 7. Mr. Hunt's period 5 should report to Mr. Galati's room in, in room 403. Bring study material and period 3 should report to Mr. Byers' room in room 123. Now to sports and weather. Last night, the Frankfurt boys soccer team traveled to Danville to face conference versus Tri-West in sectional play. Tri-West scored the first First in the match, and the Hot Dogs answered right back less than a minute later with sophomore Alex Campos scoring the equalizing goal. Chai West defeated Frankfurt 6-1 at the final buzzer. Frankfurt finishes the season 8-8-1 and fourth in Sagamore Conference. The boys soccer team would like to thank all their supporters throughout the season for their support at both home and away games. Coach Butler and Montes would like to thank the seniors for their time and dedication to the program. The girls soccer team traveled to Crawfordsville yesterday to face North Ma in sectional play. Maria Alanis had a lone goal with assist from Mia Hernandez off a great corner ball from Ari Regalado. They finished 3-12-1 record in the season. Good job, ladies. The volleyball team traveled to Crawfordsville yesterday evening and swept the Athenians 3-0. They're, they're, this was a fantastic team win, bringing them 2-3 in conference play with matches against Danville and Southmont next week. Leading the way for the team was seniors Chloe Roberts and Ashley Timmons. In Game 3, the bench played a vital role in comeback by being engaged, loud, and encouraging for their teammates. Good job. Make sure to join the girls on Thursday night to celebrate the seniors and take on Danville. In JV action, each hitter had two kills. Now to weather with Israel. Thanks, guys. Weather today will be mostly sunny and pleasant with the high of 74 and the low of 54 degrees. Still make sure to wear your best jackets and sweaters all this week. I'm Mr. Angelis Jr. Now back to your host. The student ambassadors would like to invite you to the volleyball game this Thursday. The theme is tie-dye, and students get in for free if they wear their 19 sports, one team t-shirt. Seniors, Herb Jones will be visiting this Thursday to take cap and gown orders. You will need to have a deposit ready when you place your order. Hey man, fall break is next week. I have nothing to do, man. Luckily for you, IZ, the haunted house kicks off at the Parkview home across the street from TPA on October 11th, 12th, 18th, and 19th from 6 to 11 p.m. Tickets are $5 and for adults and $3 for children. Oh man, that video was ch it gave me the chills, man. Well, that's all for HDTV. Tune in next time for the latest news and updates. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.